Good morning to all of you. This is Murali here. We are in the chapter Fund Flow Analysis. In the previous class, we have completed with problem number 9. Now we are moving to the next problem, that is the problem number 10. Okay. Kindly go through the problem number 10. I hope you have written the problem number 10 in your notes book. Uh, this is a 24 marks question. You may expect for 24 marks in the semester examination. Okay, so kindly go through the problem. Summarized balance sheet of XYZ Limited are given below. Liabilities and assets, it's given. Share capital, profit and loss account, general risk of long term loan, then creditors, provision for tax of two years, it's given. It's required in order to prepare the fund flow statement, it's required. Then assets, goodwill, buildings, machinery, stock, debtors, bank, and cash. It's given. We are observing the amounts. I don't want to uh, go through the. I don't want to read out the uh, amounts here. Uh, it's visible. Ten lakh, twelve lakh, fifty thousand. What's the change you're observing? Then all the values you're observing. You know, but before that, the additional information that is required. Kindly go through the additional information. Dividend paid. Rupees one lakh fifteen thousand. Then depreciation is given. Machinery rupees seventy thousand. Building rupees fifty thousand. Then provision for tax made during the year. That is during the year 2020-21. Rupees one lakh sixty five thousand. Let's go. We need to prepare the fund flow statement for the year ended thirty first March two thousand twenty one. Okay. So, so this is the twenty four marks question. So in order to prepare. Here we need to prepare the fund flow statement. Okay, so in order to prepare the fund flow statement, first we need to prepare the uh, ledger accounts for all the non-current assets and non-current liabilities. We need to prepare the statement of fund from operations. We need to prepare the statement of changes in working capital. So what is the fund from operation that we need to calculate? Uh, that is with the help of maybe with the help of the statement of fund from operation or with the help of the adjusted profit and loss account. And we are uh, we need to see what is the net change in working capital. For that purpose, we need to prepare the schedule of changes in working capital or statement of changes in working capital. Okay, so at the basic before going to prepare a statement of changes in working capital or adjusted profit and loss account, it is better to prepare. Okay, you can prepare later on also, but it is better to prepare in the beginning itself. We need to do some working notes that is. That is with regard to the preparation of preparation of the ledger account. So, so I'm starting with solution. I'm starting with solution. We need to prepare the ledger accounts. Okay. So 24 marks question takes much time. 24 marks question takes much time to solve. So at the beginning itself, I'm clarifying to you. So if the problem exceeds, if the solution exceeds more than 45 minutes, then what you should do? You have to skip. Okay, you have to skip. Then you have to watch the uh, so, uh, remaining part of the solution later on. Okay, that is only the so solution. I cannot uh, discontinue in the middle. Okay, it is not possible. We need to work out more and more prob uh, more and more problems. So I am continuing the solution. I'm, I'm, I will take the entire. I will complete the entire solution. But if the solution takes more than forty five minutes, as a time uh, limit for you for one class is forty five minutes. So you need to go through other class also so what you, what you should do you have to skip that after 45 minutes then you have to watch it again after the uh, completion of all the classes so this is only the solution i have here okay so first we need to prepare the first we need to prepare the ledger accounts first we need to prepare ledger accounts that is for the kindly write working notes preparation of ledger accounts if you have written the problem then you can write if not if you have not written the problem then it will be difficult okay you don't understand okay uh, those who have written you can solve uh, simultaneously along with me okay solution solution then preparation of the ledger accounts okay solution preparation of ledger accounts oh sorry working notes preparation of ledger accounts so I told we have to prepare the ledger accounts for the uh, non-current assets. We have to prepare ledger accounts for the non-current liabilities. So I'm starting with the ledger accounts of the uh, assets, non-current assets first. First account you're observing here, that's goodwill. Okay, you're observing here, that is goodwill. So we need to prepare the goodwill account. Okay, uh, goodwill is an intangible assets. 
then building then machinery okay then stock debt test bank cash are the current testers okay for the current assets we will prepare the statement of changes in working capital okay we have to prepare work uh, ledger accounts only for the non current assets and non current liabilities here we have to prepare the ledger account for share capital one okay then we have to prepare uh, ledger account for profit loss account we need to prepare the adjusted profit and loss account then we have to prepare general reserve account okay then we have to prepare long, long term loan account creditor is in current liability that we, we are going to take in uh, a statement of changes in working capital then provision for taxation the provision for tax for that also we have to prepare the ledger account first you have to prepare the yeah you can start from liability also non current liability also you can start from non current asset also. that is left to you but should be prepared okay most of the time uh, most of the time uh, all will not go for the preparation of ledger accounts but it is better to go for the preparation of ledger accounts okay it is better to go for the preparation of ledger accounts then you will understand uh, what is the change whether there is a source whether there is a application that will be clear from the preparation of the ledger accounts okay so it's better it is better to go for the preparation of the ledger account so first i am starting with first i am starting with goodwill account goodwill is a asset <coughs> goodwill is a asset so we should we should always start the uh, ledger account of the goodwill account from the debit side i mean all the assets should be started from should be started from the debit side to balance brought down kindly write to balance brought down to balance brought down okay to balance brought down what is the ba opening balance of goodwill what is the opening balance of goodwill opening balance on 31st 3 2020 okay at the end of the last year that means at the beginning of the this year 2021 and uh, there is no goodwill actually there is no goodwill that means nil there is no goodwill means there is no goodwill that means it is nil okay but you are observing here on 31st march 2021 by the end of this year there is a goodwill of 25000 that means by balance carry down okay kindly write by balance carry down by balance carry down so what's the closing balance what's the closing balance closing balance is 25000 okay kindly write 25000 okay now we need to balance the, okay now we need to close the now we need to close the goodwill account kindly close the goodwill account 25000 25000 both the sides 25000 okay so balance total of goodwill account is 25000 so you are getting difference in the debit side the difference of rupees 25000 you are getting a difference of rupees 25000 kindly write that difference 25000 okay what is the difference 25000 okay 25000 so what is that 25000 that you should know okay this is what you are going to uh, apply in the fund flow statement okay so th actually there is no goodwill in the beginning of the year or at the end of the last year but you are observing the balance sheet of this year 31st 2021 there is a goodwill of rupees 25000 okay how how it is possible okay so we are getting a difference of rupees 25000 in the debit side that means goodwill is created during the year or goodwill is purchased during the Yeah. okay so when the goodwill is created or purchased goodwill comes in in order to in, in return to that we need to make the payment in cash okay or bank so good bank account has to be credited now to bank to bank account to bank account okay it should be specified within the bracket bank means it's an application so this application should be shown in the fund flow statement what is this goodwill created goodwill created or purchased goodwill created or purchased this should be specified actually okay that's about goodwill account okay this goodwill created should be specified in the this goodwill created should be specified in the 
फंड फ्लो स्टेटमेंट नेक्स्ट थिंग इज अबाउट द बिल्डिंग इज नेक्स्ट थिंग इज अबाउट द बिल्डिंग अकाउंट बिल्डिंग इज एसेट टू बैलेंस ब्रॉड डाउन टू बैलेंस ब्रॉड डाउन व्हाट इज द ओपनिंग बैलेंस ऑफ बिल्डिंग व्हाट इज द ओपनिंग बैलेंस ऑफ बिल्डिंग ओपनिंग बैलेंस ऑफ बिल्डिंग इज रुपीस 10 लाख राइट यू आर ऑब्जर्विंग हियर 10 लाख दैट इज 10 लाख काइंडली राइट द अमाउंट 10 लाख देन क्लोजिंग बैलेंस इज गिवन दैट इज 9 लाख 50000 बाय द एंड ऑफ दिस ईयर देयर इज अ बिल्डिंग ऑफ रुपीस Building value of rupees nine lakh fifty thousand. So closing balance is nine lakh fifty thousand. Just uh, um, observe here. Don't go for writing now. Buy balance carry down. What's the buy balance carry down? Buy balance carry down is nine lakh fifty thousand. Okay, I'm writing now. Just wait for one minute. Then you can write later uh, after writing this. Buy balance carry down nine lakh fifty thousand. So what's the total here? Total here is the ten lakhs. Okay, ten lakhs is the total. Closing balance is nine lakh fifty thousand. We are so we are getting a difference of rupees fifty thousand. What is that fifty thousand? Kindly go through the adjustment number two, depreciation. Okay, depreciation machinery is twenty seventy thousand. Depreciation building is fifty thousand. So there is a depreciation of fifty thousand. Building value is reduced by rupees fifty thousand. That's what depreciation. That we have to charge here by depreciation account. By depreciation account. By depreciation account, by depreciation account, what's the value of depreciation? Fifty thousand. Value of depreciation is fifty thousand. Kindly write the amount fifty thousand. Okay. Now the building's account is balanced. Okay. Building account is balanced. Ten lakhs. Both the sides ten lakh rupees. Okay. Both the sides, ten lakhs. Okay, that's about building account. That's about building account. Next thing is about machinery account. So machinery is asset to balance brought down. To balance brought down. To balance brought down. Write the opening balance of uh, machinery. That is rupees seven lakh fifty thousand. That is rupees seven lakh fifty thousand. Then closing balance, buy balance carry down, buy balance carry down. What's the closing balance of machinery? Closing balance of machinery is eight lakh forty five thousand. Eight lakh forty five thousand. Then there's information regarding machinery. There's information regarding sorry depreciation. You're observing the depreciation on machinery. What's the depreciation on machinery? That is rupees seventy thousand. That should be charged by depreciation account. By depreciation account, write the amount of depreciation. Write the amount of depreciation. Depreciation is seventy thousand. Depreciation is seventy thousand. Write the amount seventy thousand. Okay, now. Let us check now. Okay, I may be go going little fast. Uh, here I have the I have the option to copy paste. Okay, but you don't have the option that option in your notes book. Kindly option now, if possible, write if possible, write, or you can write later also. As it is a twenty four marks problem, it takes time. It takes time. As it it is not the offline mode. In offline mode, uh, there is an option to enter. There is an option for the interaction. Here don't we don't have the option for the interaction. It is only one side. Okay. Uh, at the same time, I cannot take much time also. Okay. As we need to work out more and more problems. Okay. First, you think you must understand the concept. Next problem onwards. When I work out the second next problem on the in the of uh, for the twenty four marks, at that time it will be easy. You will be able to understand clearly. Uh, now pause if possible write it or you can write the uh, solution later on also okay i don't force you okay then depreciation okay 70000 okay what's the opening balance of machinery that is 750000 okay what is the depreciation depreciation during the year is 70000 actually okay actually closing balance of actually 
closing balance of depreciation should have been six lakh eighty thousand. How it is six lakh eighty thousand? How it is six lakh eighty thousand? Okay. Okay. What is the opening balance? Opening balance is seven lakh fifty thousand. Is it so? Seven lakh fifty thousand minus seventy thousand. That is equal to six lakh eighty, right? Okay. This is opening balance. This is depreciation. Actually, closing balance of machinery should have been six lakh eighty thousand. But here you are observing closing balance. What's the closing balance? What's the closing balance you are observing here? Eight lakh forty five thousand. Eight lakh forty five thousand. How it is eight lakh forty five thousand? Okay. So that's the question. So what's the possibility? Okay, that maybe additional machinery should have been purchased. That's only the option. Okay, so additional machinery. When the additional machinery is purchased, machinery comes in. We need to make the payment in. We need to make the payment. Okay, to bank account. To bank account. Write the difference. Then write within the bracket machinery purchased. To bank account. To bank account. Within the bracket, machinery purchase. Within the bracket, what's the difference here? What's the difference? Total, total is seven lakh. Sorry, seventy thousand plus eight lakh forty five thousand. Seventy thousand plus eight lakh forty five thousand. That is equal to nine lakh fifteen thousand. First, write the total. Nine lakh fifteen thousand. Nine lakh fifteen thousand. So we are getting a difference of rupees. What's the difference? We are getting a difference of rupees one lakh sixty five thousand. Okay. So we are getting a difference of rupees one lakh sixty five. Write the difference first. One lakh sixty five thousand. What is that? Machinery purchased. That is the machinery purchased. So this is what application should be shown in the fund flow statement. Machinery purchased. Okay, that's with regard to machinery account. That is with regard to machinery account. Next, all the non-current assets are over. Then comes stock, right? Stock is a current asset. Debtor is a current asset. Bank is a current asset. Cash is a current asset. Okay. Then share capital. Share capital account. Particular rupees. Particular rupees. Okay. You should fill the columns. You should draw the columns. Then you should fill the columns. Okay. Capital is a liability. The should be started from the credit side. By balance brought down. By balance, <coughs> by balance brought down. What's the opening balance? Ten lakhs. <coughs> ten lakhs. Sorry, ten lakhs. What's the closing balance? Closing balance is two lakh fifty thousand. Two balance carried on. Two balance carried on. Twelve lakh fifty thousand. At the closing balance, twelve lakh fifty thousand. Okay. So, rabbit side is more. Twelve lakh fifty thousand. So total is twelve lakh fifty thousand. Total is twelve lakh fifty thousand. Twelve lakh fifty thousand. We are getting difference in the credit side. Difference of rupees two lakh fifty thousand. Okay, at the beginning, at the end of the last year, share capital was ten lakhs. Okay, companies share X Y Z Limited companies share capital was ten lakhs rupees by the end of last year or during the by the in the beginning of the year. But by the end of the last year, I mean by the end of thirty first March two thousand twenty one, there is share capital is 
12,50,000. There is an increase of rupees 12,50,000. Okay, there is an increase of sorry, there is an increase of 2,50,000. That means additional shares should have been issued. Okay, so we are getting a difference of rupees 2,50,000. Okay, when the shares are issued, okay, money comes in. There is a inflow of fund. In return, we give the shares. Okay, by bank account. By bank account. What is that actually? What is that actually? Shares issue of shares. That's what shares issued or issue of shares. Issue of shares should be specified within the bracket. Okay. That's about share capital account. Next thing is about general reserve account. Kindly prepare the general reserve account. By balance brought down. By balance brought down. What's the opening balance of general reserve? Okay. In the general reserve account, there is a amount of rupees 2,50,000. There is already 2,50,000 is there. What is the closing balance of general reserve? 3 lakhs. Closing balance of general reserve is 3 lakhs. Two balance carry down. Two balance carried on. That's what the closing balance. That's rupees three lakhs. That is rupees three lakhs. So there is an increase of two lakh fifty thousand from op uh, opening to closing. From opening to closing, or from the beginning to uh, end of the year, there is an increase of rupees fifty thousand. Okay, that means fifty thousand is transferred to general reserve account. Okay, the opening balance is two lakh fifty thousand. Closing balance three lakhs means. There is a difference of there is an increase of fifty thousand. Is it so? There is an increase of fifty thousand. That means fifty thousand is transferred to general reserve account. That is from profit. That is from profit. So we are getting a difference of rupees fifty thousand. First, to close the balance. Close. We need to close it. Three lakhs. Now it is clear. We are getting difference of rupees fifty thousand in the credit side. What is that fifty thousand? That is transferred to general reserve. Okay. As a result, profit will reduce by rupees by the amount of rupees fifty thousand by adjusted profit and loss account by adjusted profit and loss account. By adjusted profit and loss account, how much? Fifty thousand. Okay, what is that actually? That sh that should also be specified within the bracket. That should also be specified within the bracket. Transferred to general reserve. That's what transferred to general reserve. Okay, kindly write it full. Transferred to general reserve. Fifty thousand. Okay, that's with regard to general reserve account. Next is long term account. Next thing is about the long term account. Okay, so write the opening balance by balance brought down. What's the opening balance? Three lakh fifty thousand. Opening balance is three lakh fifty thousand. Write the amount. Next two balance carried on. Write the closing balance. Two balance carried on. What's the closing balance? Six lakh seventy six thousand. Closing balance is six lakh seventy six thousand. Now I'm closing that long term loan account. Six lakh seventy six thousand is the total. Okay, so we are getting a difference. What is the difference? Six lakh seventy-six thousand minus three lakh fifty thousand. That is equal to three lakh twenty-six thousand. So we are getting a difference of rupees three lakh twenty-six thousand in the credit side. Three lakh twenty-six thousand. Okay. So actually, 
at the beginning there is a long term loan of rupees 2 lakh 3 lakh 50000 but now the balance sheet is showing there is a long term loan of 6 lakh 76000 how it is possible that means additional loan should have been borrowed okay should have been borrowed so when we borrow the loan fund will fund inflows okay so when there is an inflow bank cash comes in by bank account by bank account should be specified within the bracket should be specified within the bracket what is that long term loan borrowed actually okay now it is enough it is enough to write borrowed or you, if you have the option there you can write fully long term loan borrowed okay it should be specified within the bracket long term loan borrowed so borrowed means it is a source it's a source of fund inflow of fund okay it should be specified in the fund flow statements as a source of fund okay next thing is about the provision for tax account write the opening balance by balance by balance brought down By balance problem, opening balance is one lakh fifty thousand. Write the closing balance to balance carry down. Provision amount kept aside for the purpose of paying tax. What is the provision for tax here? Beginning there is a provision kept kept aside is amount kept aside is out of profit, appropriation of profit that is rupees one lakh fifty thousand. But by the end of the year that is on 31st 3 2021 provision for taxation in the provision for taxation account there is a balance of rupees 1 lakh 75000 there is a balance of rupees 1 lakh 75000 you need to observe even the additional information also there is information regarding provision for tax made during the year 2020-21 is rupees 1 lakh 65000 additional provision made during the year okay so when we when there is a provision for taxation when the provision for tax made during the year that is nothing but the appropriation of profit okay when some uh, when uh, 1 lakh 65 thousand amount here when it is kept aside the profit will also profit will also reduce by the amount of provision made will also reduce by the amount of uh, provisions made so as a result profit reduces so by adjusted profit and loss account by adjusted Okay, you can write fully, you can write fully by adjusted profit and loss account. By adjusted profit and loss account. What is that? Provision made. It should also be specified within the bracket. Provision made during the year. Should be specified. I mean it is better to specify okay many will not go for this specification actually i prefer it is better to specify okay. provision made during the year provision made during the year How much provision made during the year is rupees one lakh sixty five thousand. One lakh sixty five thousand. So what's the total here? One lakh fifty. One lakh fifty. That is the opening balance of provision for taxation plus provision made during the year 165 balance is 3 lakh balance is 3 lakh 3 lakh 15,000 is it so 3 lakh 15,000 put this at 3 lakh 15,000 
so we are getting a difference of rupees 140000 we are getting a difference of rupees 140000 okay here are observing here there is a actually in the totally there is a uh, in the provision for taxation account there is a balance of rupees 315000 okay is it so that is actually the amount kept aside for the purpose of paying tax okay so actually 315000 should have been there but the closing balance is showing there is a balance of there is a balance of 175000 then what about remaining 140000 what about remaining 140000 that's what the tax paid during the year that's what tax paid during the year so when we pay the tax cash goes out there's outflow of cash to bank account there's outflow of cash what's that amount 140000 you are getting a difference of rupees 1,14,000 40000 that's nothing but that's nothing but the tax paid during the year tax paid it is enough to specify tax paid so tax paid means it is the outflow of fund this outflow of fund okay that's with regard to the preparation of the provision for tax session account okay so all the non current liabilities as well as non current assets accounts are <laughs> assets account is prepared okay now we, we should go for the preparation of either a statement of business working capital or a registered profit and loss account so i'm starting with statement of business in working capital okay. there is a specific format i hope you know the format of preparing the statement of changes in working capital you should go through the format of the format of preparing statement of changes in working capital it is must you must know so kindly draw the format particulars then 31st march 2020 then 31st march 2021 then what is the work effect on working capital whether increases whether decreases okay so we have to take a what a basic formula to calculate working capital is current assets minus current liabilities okay so that means we have to consider current asset as a base here okay we, we should take current asset firstly current assets right one by one first one stock what's the amount of stock last year stock 5 lakh 31st 2021 stock value is reduced to 3 lakh 70000 okay that means it is reduced by it is reduced by 1 lakh 30000 it is reduced by 1 lakh 30000 so stock is a current asset the basic rule of the uh, this statement of the working capital says that when the current asset decreases working capital also decreases so it is decreased by 140000 okay it is decreased by 140000 this is what the basic principle of the statement of uh, changes in working capital that's with regard to stock next one is debtors next one is debtors write the values 4 lakh 4 lakh and 3 lakh 21000 okay it is reduced by 79000 stock debtor is a current asset the current asset is decreased by rupees 79000 when the current asset decreases working capital also decreases okay one second One lakh thirty thousand. Then this will be seventy nine thousand. Next thing is bank. Next thing is bank. Write the balance. Last year there is no balance. No balance. Put nil. Then this time balance sheet is showing there is a balance up in bank. Forty thousand balance is there. Bank is a current asset. Current asset value is increased. When current asset increases, working capital also increases. Increases by rupees by the by rupees forty thousand. Okay. Then cash. What about cash? Cash. 
guess last year 2500 increase to 3000 increase it to 3000 increase it by 500 when current asset increases working capital also increases by the amount of increase 500 that's about current assets next we have to take current lab <coughs> current liabilities <coughs> okay There is only one current liability, share capital is a non-current non liability, profit loss account, we have to prepare the adjusted profit loss account, then general listed long term loan, creditors, only one current liability is there, that is creditors, write the values, creditors 7,50,000, last year, this time this is balance sheet is showing, there is no creditors, what is the amount due to creditors that is entire amount is paid okay so that means current liabilities decreased okay so when what is the rule says when working capital sorry when current liability decreases working capital increases the students i explained this uh, point with example okay logically explained in the theoretical part you must go through that okay when the current liability decreases, working capital increases. Okay, now you can make, make the total. 7,90,500. 7,90,500. Both the sides. Sorry, not both the sides. Decrease, what is the decrease total? 2,9,000. Two lakh nine thousand. Right here, total okay. Now increases more than decrease, so increase should be taken as a base. What is the net increase? Seven lakh ninety thousand, seven lakh ninety thousand five hundred minus two lakh nine thousand. That is equal to five lakh eighty one thousand five hundred. Five lakh eighty one five hundred. Five lakh eighty one five hundred is the net increase in net increase in working capital. Therefore, net increase in working capital. net increase in working capital okay actually that should come in a single line okay net increase in net increase in working capital 581500 Okay, that's with regard to statement of changes in working capital. Okay. Next, we have to prepare. Okay. If you are not written, you can drag back. Okay. That option is there. You can drag back and you can watch it again. Okay. Or else you can watch the after the uh, completion of all the classes. Next, adjusted profit and loss account. Adjusted profit and loss account. Adjusted profit and loss account for the year ended 31st March 2021. Particular rupees, particular rupees. We should write the close opening balance. By balance. By balance brought down. By balance brought down. What's the opening balance? 1,52,500. 1,52,500. Closing balance can be written later on. Now, we have to see 
were in which accounts we have written adjusted profit loss account as balance that should be seen Okay. Here, goodwill account, no balance is transferred to adjusted profit loss account. Buildings, no machinery, no. Then, star capital account, no. Then, general list of. Okay. We are observing here transferred to general list of. We have written by adjusted profit loss account. By adjusted profit loss account, transferred to general reserve fifty thousand. Is it so? Transferred to general reserve fifty thousand. Okay, here it should be written. Okay, reverse entry has to be passed now. Reverse entry has to be passed now to transferred to general reserve. Okay. To transfer to general reserve fifty thousand. What's the amount of transfer? What is the amount of transfer? Okay, kindly see the general reserve account, then it will be clear. 50,000. Amount of transfer is 50,000. Okay, that's we got the general reserve account. Next, provision for taxation account. Yes, provision for tax made during the year by adjusted property loss account. Reverse entry has to be passed now to provision for taxation account or to, I mean, to provision for taxation account or to provision made during the year get to provision for tax to provision for tax to provision for tax account within the bracket provision made during the year Within the bracket, provision made during the year. What is the provision made during the year? One lakh sixty-five, right? Is it so? Provision made during the year is one lakh sixty-five thousand. Then that's about ledger accounts. Then observe the this one additional information dividend paid to dividend paid <coughs> to dividend paid. the amount of dividend paid one lakh fifteen thousand then to depreciation on machinery as depreciation is a non-cash item as there is a decrease in the value of the uh, estate earning capacity reduces as a result profit will also reduces so we have to charge depreciation to the profit and loss account, adjusted profit and loss account to depreciation on machinery. To depreciation on machinery. What is the depreciation on machinery? What is the depreciation on machinery? Depreciation on machinery is 70,000. Next one, depreciation on building. Usually there will not be depreciation on buildings it is given here as it is given in the problem uh, given as it is usually building land uh, have the 
appreciation value okay increasing value depreciation on building what's the depreciation on building 50000 okay depreciation return dividend paid is written depreciation, uh, depreciation machinery and building is written provision for tax is written transfer to general is written okay so everything is written now write the closing balance to balance carry down closing balance 1,53,000 Okay. Kindly make the total now. Fifty thousand plus one lakh sixty five thousand plus one lakh fifteen thousand plus seventy thousand plus fifty thousand plus one lakh fifty three thousand that is equal to six lakh three thousand. Six lakh three thousand. Both these sides. Six lakh three thousand. Okay. What's the difference? Minus one lakh fifty two thousand five hundred. Four lakh fifty thousand five hundred. We are getting a difference of rupees four lakh fifty thousand five hundred. That's what the fund from operations. Buy fund from operations. Buy fund from operations. So this becomes a source. <coughs> Buy fund from operations. Four lakh fifty thousand five hundred. Okay, this is what a balancing figure actually. This is what balancing figure. <coughs> Better to specify within the bracket balancing figure. Okay, four lakh fifty thousand five hundred. Okay, last one. Fund flow statement. Last one is a fund flow statement. Okay, for the preparation of fund flow statement, there's a specific format fund flow statement for the year ended thirty first March two thousand twenty one. Sources and application don't write liabilities and assets. Sources and applications. Sources and applications. <coughs> we need the ledger accounts here. We need ledger accounts here. Dear students, I am trying as much as possible way to. Uh, understand okay so it is very difficult online mode okay i hope you understand how i'm trying to explain you it is very difficult actually we are not using any boards here okay anyway whatever may be the problem we need to adjust we don't have any other option okay starting from the goodwill account so now we need to check what is the inflow whether there's an inflow whether there's an outflow goodwill goodwill account you're observing two bank account two bank means there is an outflow of cash outflow is nothing but the application right here goodwill right here goodwill created okay whether the words are dear students if the whether if words are not clearly visible then by hearing my voice you can write okay, by hearing my voice you can write okay goodwill created or goodwill purchased Write the amount of goodwill created. Twenty five thousand. Amount is twenty five thousand. That's with regard to goodwill account. Next is buildings account. There is no inflow of cash and inflow of outflow and outflow, inflow and outflow. Then machinery. There is a outflow. That means application to bank. There is a to bank machinery purchased. Okay. Next slide. Right. Machinery purchased. Machinery purchase means there is a it's an application or use of fund. Machinery purchased. Okay. 
right here machinery purchased What's the amount? Write the amount of machinery purchased. One lakh sixty five thousand. One lakh sixty five thousand. That's about machinery account. Then share capital account. Buy bank account. Two lakh fifty thousand inflow of cash, inflow of fund. Yeah, right here, issue of shares. Right here, issue of shares. Issue of shares. What's the value? What value of shares is issued? Two lakh fifty thousand. Two lakh fifty thousand. Two lakh fifty thousand. Then that's about share capital account. Then general reserve account. There is no inflow outflow. Then long term loan. There is a inflow of fund by bank account three lakh twenty six thousand. Right here, long term loan borrowed. Long term loan borrowed. Long term loan borrowed. What's the amount of loan borrowed? Three lakh twenty six thousand. Three lakh twenty six thousand. Okay. Long term loan borrowed. Three lakh twenty six thousand. Okay, that's about long term loan account. Then provision for taxation. There is a tax paid. Tax paid means is use of fund application. Tax paid right here. Tax paid. Tax paid. Tax paid. What's the amount of tax paid? The amount of tax paid is one lakh forty thousand. One lakh forty thousand. Okay, that's about provision for tax account. So ledger accounts are over. Then you need to uh, go through the statement of business in working capital. Kindly go through the statement of business in working capital. Okay, there is a net increase in working capital. Net increase in working capital means so there is a sufficient working capital is there. So this can be used to pay off the short term liabilities. This can be used to pay off the uh, made made the uh, used to. Made the operating expenses, so it is. It should be treated as the application, net increase in working capital, net increase in working capital. This is what application, application, net increase in working capital. What is the increase in working capital? Net increase in working capital. That is rupees five lakh eighty one thousand five hundred. Five lakh eighty one thousand five hundred. Okay, that's about statement of business working capital. Then what we have prepared adjusted profit and loss account. There is a fund from operations. Fund from operations means source fund from operations. Right here. Fund from operation. It's in source. What's the balance? What's the fund from operation? Four lakh fifty thousand five hundred. Okay, that's with regard to. So we have considered the ledger accounts. We have considered the uh, statement of business working capital also. We have considered the adjusted profit, adjusted profit and loss account also. Then lastly, we have to see the additional information or the adjustments. Kindly go through the adjustments.
kindly go through the adjustments you're observing here adjustments dividend paid dividend paid means it's an application it's an application dividend paid okay a, when there is a when we need to pay the dividend when the company needs to pay the dividend the, there's an outflow of fund okay dividend paid what's the amount of dividend paid one lakh fifteen one lakh fifteen thousand one lakh fifteen thousand okay depreciation should not be written provision for tax made during the year okay that's all kindly make the total it should be balanced both the sides should be balanced source two lakh fifty thousand then three lakh twenty six thousand four lakh fifty thousand five hundred total is equal to ten lakh twenty six thousand five hundred ten lakh twenty six thousand five hundred then about the applications twenty five thousand plus one lakh sixty five thousand plus one lakh forty thousand okay twenty five thousand plus one lakh sixty five thousand plus one lakh forty thousand plus five lakh eighty one thousand five hundred plus one lakh fifteen thousand that is equal to ten lakh twenty six thousand five hundred both the sides you are getting the same answer kindly write the answer ten lakh twenty six thousand five hundred ten lakh twenty six thousand five hundred okay that's with regard to the fund flow statement okay so this is the final answer sources should be uh, should be equal to the applications application so now the balance is total is actually sorry total is 10 lakh 26500 okay this is with regard to this problem so, so it takes much time actually it takes much time so it's very difficult in online mode uh, it's very difficult to work out the uh, this much lengthiest problem okay so we are trying we will try our le level best i'm trying uh, my level best you must cooperate with me okay as I told, if the words, if the uh, words are not visible by hearing my voice, you can definitely write. Okay, so as it is a first problem, it may be a little uh, confusing. Not confusing. It was easy actually. So you need to go through the problem once again. Okay, so thank you, thank you so much for watching the class. We will meet in the next class.